Hello, my name is Mike. This is Guns and Horsepower. Thanks for joining me for today's video where I attempt to use these aluminum welding rods that I got off Amazon to repair a crack in a motorcycle wheel. First off, I'm going to test them with just a regular piece of aluminum and get the technique down and see if, um, see if they work at all. And then we'll move on to trying to repair the wheel. Here's the crack in the wheel on the motorcycle that I wanted to repair. I first discovered this when I was attempting to change out the tire. I went ahead and stopped. I didn't want to make it any worse. I took it to a couple wheel repair shops nearby and they said they're unable to work on motorcycle wheels due to insurance liability reasons. As you can see it's such a tiny thin crack and it doesn't go all the way through over the edge there. So I was hoping that those aluminum welding rods would take care of this. Before I do it on the rim I want to test it out on another piece of uh, aluminum that I have and kind of practice and try to perfect the technique if they work at all. Now the instructions for these uh, aluminum welding rods say to clean the surface with a stainless steel brush first, use a propane torch to heat the parrot material up to temperature, and then push the rods into the area that needs repaired. And it says to let it cool. All the videos that I've watched on it show I'm squirting it with water afterwards to cool it rapidly. So I'm going to go ahead and try that first and see if that works. I have a piece of uh, scrap aluminum that I cut a couple of slits into to represent the crack that I'm trying to repair. So let's go ahead and test it out on this and see if we can get these things to work. It says uh, 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Try to put the temperature on the metal, see what it gets to. Now we're off up here. Starting to melt the aluminum now. Okay, spraying water on it did not work. Hmm. All right, well that didn't work. It says to heat them up to roughly 600 degrees Fahrenheit and I only got to about barely 400 and the aluminum started to deform. The rod did melt but squirting water on it did not help. Let's go ahead and try it again on the other side. It did seal it all the way through but when I sprayed the water on it, it uh, created a bit of a hole there so I'm not going to do the water this next time around. Now they say that you're not supposed to heat the rod directly. You're supposed to heat only the parent material. So I'm going to try kind of a combination of both and see how it goes. Well, that seemed to work a lot better. It definitely filled the crack in. It went all the way to the other side. There's a little bit of an indent that it didn't sink into, but um, it's definitely pretty hard to do. It's, it's hard to heat up the piece of aluminum to that high of a temperature without doing damage to it. So it's a real delicate process when using it on aluminum. But so far it seemed to have held up. Alright, I have the surface prepped. I'm going to go ahead and give it another shot. Hopefully I'll be able to do it even better. I think what I was doing wrong the first time is I was trying to heat just the spot where I needed repaired instead of trying to heat the entire area. Because with this aluminum there seems to be a fine line between getting it heated to the proper temperature and melting it and destroying the aluminum itself. So let's go ahead and try this again. There we go. 
that worked much better and it doesn't look like we deformed the original aluminum at all it didn't go all the way through but it definitely worked a little bit better than the first time hopefully it'll work better on the wheel but as you can see there it's definitely filled it in and I didn't get any distortion that time these welding rods seem to work definitely not as easy and precise as advertised but it looks like they might get the job done I'm just gonna have to be really careful on the thinner aluminum on that wheel now that I've done some test runs it's time for the real thing I have the wheel all set up here on my block and I notice that the crack is bigger on the inside of the rim so I'm gonna apply the welding rod there let's go ahead and get started It's not working. What temperature is it at? Right now in the center. 370. Why is it not melting? What's it at? Not working. The crack got smaller. definitely came together but the welding rods not doing a thing it's not melting I don't understand what's going on here well needless to say that did not work at all no matter what I did I couldn't get the temperature up enough to melt the welding rods and this started to form so I went ahead and stopped as I was heating it up it was bringing the crack together I think what and as you can see it formed this weird line all the way through it's not a crack I believe that since the wheel is under tension and heating it in that one spot, it started pulling it together. So the crack is definitely still there, but it's pulled tight now. And it has this whole lip here. It's raised up just a little bit. I'm not an expert at welding. I'm not sure exactly what material this is. It's supposed to be an aluminum rim as far as I know, but it must be mixed with some other alloys. We got it up to about 560 degrees and it would not melt the aluminum welding rod whereas on the test runs it was melting at around 450. So as you can see it didn't melt, it didn't work at all and it started pulling the rim together right here. So I'm afraid I might have done more harm than good but it was the only option I had at really trying to fix this rim since I couldn't get anyone to solder it or weld it. But right now with the crack pulled together it's still pretty strong we'll see how it holds up if anybody knows more about welding and can explain to me what happened here please do please leave it in the comments down below I'm curious to see what happened here but my guess is since it has the spokes on and it's under tension that heating the material was pulling the rim together right here so I went ahead and stopped before it got any worse. So I guess the only option I have now is I'm gonna sand this up, clean it up a little bit, and see what it looks like. Things started out good when I was running test runs with these uh, aluminum welding rods. I had this piece of uh, aluminum that I had cut uh, some slits into with a hacksaw, and everything was going just fine. Uh, my third run, I was getting real good at it. it as you can see, it, uh, it sealed the void up pretty nicely. I didn't bother cleaning it up at all or sanding it, but uh, it seemed like it would work just perfectly on the wheel. So after testing out the aluminum welding rods, I thought for sure it would be able to fix that small crack I had in the wheel. But as you saw, things did not go according to plan. I'm still not completely sure what went wrong. 
I heated the wheel up to about 100 degrees hotter than I heated up my test piece of aluminum and those uh, aluminum welding rods would just not melt at all. In fact, what started to happen was it looked like the wheel, as you can see, the crack is gone. There's no crack on either side anymore. I went ahead and cleaned it up a little bit. But as you saw earlier, the rim started to kind of press together, I believe because it's under tension from the spokes. As I was heating it up, I think it was just kind of squeezing together. So it created that little band around the rim. But in doing so, it actually sealed up the crack. But none of the welding rod melted in to fill in the crack. It was just the wheel coming together on its own. But as you can see, the crack is gone. There's no evidence of it. Well, that was my attempt at fixing an aluminum motorcycle wheel with a small crack using these uh, aluminum welding rods I got off of Amazon. It didn't go according to plan, but I did get the crack sealed up. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Like I said, I believe it was the tension from those spokes and heating it up in that one spot and it just kind of pressed everything together. Because as you saw, I ended up with that little band, that little hump that formed all the way across the rim right in that spot. I was able to sand all that down. The rim looks great. It's not deformed. Everything looks like it's okay. And the crack is not visible at all. I've kind of tested it with some pliers and tried to bend the rim and see if it's brittle there, but no, it's strong. I can't bend it at all. So I hope I didn't do any damage to it. If I did, it looks like I'm gonna have to start looking for a replacement rim. But uh, yeah, the welding rods did not work on that, but they work great on my test piece of aluminum. I was pretty impressed with those. They're not the easiest thing to use, but as long as you get the temperature just right, they do work. But for some reason, it would not work on that rim. Even though I heated it up to 100 degrees hotter than I did my test piece, the rods would not melt. They would not fill in that crack. But like I said, that rim sealed itself up. I don't know exactly what happened. If you have any ideas or you know what happened, please leave a comment down below. I'm curious to see if my theory is right or if it's something completely different. Well, it didn't quite go as planned, but I did get the crack fixed. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and please browse my channel for my other content. Thanks again for watching.